What's going on guys? It's Shane. We are back here again with another video and as you can tell by the title this bus simulator is getting very very popular um, This is Bedford, Massachusetts owned by Bedford Charter Service. We've done a few videos on it and Right now there are 25 people playing the game now I used to look at this group a while back and they used to get no players Okay, and the reason they're starting to get players is because their CDL edition is open to everyone uh, no doubt they are playing here because of the map changes. Uh, it's way better than their current uh, all rank game. So uh, we even got somebody working on a bus behind us, which is pretty cool. Um, so we're up here on the second level. Uh, we want to go down here. And we here's the dispatch center. It's pretty cool. See, I don't know if they have all of this stuff in their other game. I haven't played it ever since we've been allowed to play this one. Um... And we'll get into that here in a second. Let's see. What do we want to spot? We drove the... Oh, wait. I think this is a new spawner. Or like a different color, maybe? I don't recognize... Well, it might be the same spawner. It just has a different color to it, I think. Um, We might drive a C2. I know we drove the FS65 last time. Or no, wait. Did we drive that Minotaur or something like that? Didn't we? Or something? I don't know. I, I don't know what all these letters mean, so we're going to go with this one here if this guy doesn't try to steal it from me. Bum -bum. Very nice. Uh, empty sign. Mm, doesn't look like it. So as you can see, we've got a ton of people in here. They're all guests, so you know they're only here because of the map. You know, they're if they were devoted to the company, they'd be in the group. You know what I mean? Um, so let's see here. Let's start the bus. Okay. And she starts. Okay. Righty then. So I kind of wanted to do a field trip, but, but I don't know where we, we would end up taking them. So what we're actually going to do, it's PM right now. So we're going to go to Davis Elementary School and we're going to do some PMs. So we, we got people backing in buses over there, which is pretty cool. Getting their service done. We'll go ahead and back up. We should have enough fuel. I don't know. Maybe not. I actually, I'm going to get fuel. Where do we get fuel at? I, I suppose a gas station, right? Because I don't see any pumps at the lot. Uh, I think there's a gas station down here to the left. You close that. Oh, God. Oh, oh, I'm all over the place. So we got some people over here, too. Very nice. Oh, look at all these people. So it looks like some buses might spawn there as well. It's pretty cool. Now, I thought there was a gas station down here. Um, maybe not. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I've been on TikTok recently and I've been seeing a lot of these uh, bus school bus feeds about people passing on red when it's, you know, when the reds are out and I can see like cops chasing them and stuff. It's actually quite satisfying when people don't know the laws when it comes to school buses and they end up getting pulled over for it. Um, but yeah. Oh God. We got a fan in the game. Maybe not a fan. I don't know. I suppose everybody who knows me is a fan, but you know, your haters, your haters watch you too. We probably could have made a right on red if there's no kids in the bus, but we're just going to play it safe. It should turn green here in a second. Yes, sir. Now, see, we are running low on fuel. It it it, it um uh, it loses fuel quite fast. And I remember seeing gas stations. I just don't know where they are. I suppose I should have got gas before I started the video, huh? But I like to choose the bus uh, upon starting the video. Well, we might actually just have to, uh, well, we got a, a bus here. 
we might actually just have to uh, take our chances. Remember that one time where we ran out of fuel and we had to call a different driver? That was uh, Bedford, Massachusetts as well. Uh, that was an old video though. Man, I don't see any gas stations. Oh well, I I know we're gonna run out of fuel. There's no way we don't. I don't think you can stop at a gas station with kids on board. <laughs> I mean, I suppose you could if you're right next to one and you're gonna run out of fuel. I don't know. I don't know how that works. So it looks like we have a, oh, this is a sports center, huh? So that could have been a field trip destination, but eh. Now this video might come out a little late. I don't know. I'm kind of recording this on the day of. I've been slacking. I've been slacking. Where's that elementary? Oh, it's over here. Now, I think people are, like I said, I think people are playing this game because of the map. Um, you know, their all rank game is cool and all, but it, the map is so much bigger on this one. And I either suggest two things, either keep this version open to everyone or transfer the map to the free version. Because uh, obviously you're going to want a version where there are certified drivers, you know. I'm sure not all these people are the greatest at driving. And at least one out of, one of them have to be a troll, so probably just transfer the map. That that might be what they're doing. I don't know. I don't know how long they're gonna keep this open. They might keep it open forever. Who knows? I got no problems with that. It's a great game. We're gonna pull in here. Been working on my own bus simulator. Got a kind of a rain cycle that I'm working on. I finished the uh, second school. Got one more school to build. Uh, I guess the bus loop's over here, huh? I need to finish working on my map, though, because I got to get that completed before I even release the game. So I guess that's what I should be focusing on, but... Uh, 50% fuel. We've already used like 7% or 6. I don't even know what we were on. But yeah, I mean, this game, it used to have like zero players simply because, I mean, I get it. You know, certified driver edition only. You know, not everybody's going to be able to play. And there's only so many certified drivers. But when you open your group to, or sorry, when you open your game to your entire group, you know, of, you know, people are going to play it. And it's got like 25 to 30 players right now, which is very good. Their all-ranked game has no players right now. So, and I've been paying attention to their numbers as well. They've got over a 1,000 group members now, which is good. This is especially good if they're not running ads. I, I you know, I don't know if they are or not, but it wouldn't, it wouldn't surprise me if they were. Hell, I'm still a trainee. But from what I've learned, Roblox ads don't do much nowadays. That's uh, two voice cracks for the video. Got a flatbed. Flatbed. Now I'm going slow on purpose, um, kind of just taking it slow, make sure I don't 
hit the curbs or anything. I learned my lesson from the start of the video when I took that horrible left turn. I've been taking it slow ever since. Keystone teacher. There isn't, isn't there a school school community? Keystone? Isn't that a school community? I think it is. Whoa. Look at the antenna. Isn't that an antenna right there on the side? I'm pretty sure it is. You don't see those on minibuses. And one thing I noticed is that on some Massachusetts bus buses, they have like these horns, air horns, like on the top of the bus, which is pretty, pretty weird. I don't understand it. I mean, you know. Got a friend request. Oh, no. <laughs> That's great. Shout out to uh, Big Ant. So I had an idea about my whole school bus situation between Gen X and Huxley. Remember I said, I asked Mike if he would sell me some buses and he said he was out of it. He wasn't selling anymore. So right now I technically have no way of getting any Gen X buses, but I thought of something. I was thinking, what if I buy a company that already has Gen X buses in their fleet? Wouldn't that technically mean I own Gen X buses and the map, you know, so I can use the buses or whatever, you know, as long as they're not given to anyone else, you know what I mean? Theoretically, I would, no, then again, no, I didn't buy it directly from him. That, see, that's the problem. But, and again, you know, if you buy a company, everything that's in the company is yours. It, it doesn't make any sense. I don't know. Maybe, I don't know, because I've seen companies go for sale and the buses that go with it, you know. Santos Bus Services, for example, me and Royale bought it, or Royale bought it, sorry. And, you know, I became co-owner, and we owned all those Gen X buses. Now, we weren't, well, okay, hold on, wait a minute. Maybe the group owns the buses, but you can't use those buses anywhere else. That, that makes more sense. That, okay, yeah, that makes sense. Where am I headed? Excuse me, where am I going? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm a little, I'm on a tangent and I'm missing my turns. I almost pulled into the middle school. I know these kids are depressed. They got a, they got out of school just to go back in. There's a bus there. I'm talking a lot during this video, but I have a lot of energy. Oh God, 45%. Oh man, that guy struck a tree. I think he's in need of some assistance. Where am I going? I don't know. I wanted to get a nice thumbnail, but I think I have an idea for the thumbnail. It's probably gonna be blurry. It's gonna be a blurry thumbnail. Woo, we got a bus here. Oh, God. Oh, he hit a tree. Oh, my goodness. I did not. I didn't make you do that. He kind of took that turn a little wild at the end there. Wait, was that him? Did he just do a 180? Oh, that's Nick. Oh, Lord. Yes, I have a copy. Uh, we gonna take this turn because that bus is blocking the uh, 
uh, road down there. Oh, this would be a good thumbnail right here. Nice. I think this game had free cam, didn't it? It sure does. All right. You know, it'd be cool is if I could film a video of a route in just free cam, like film kind of film somebody else doing a route, but I follow them with free cam. Wouldn't that be pretty cool? I think it would. Man, these neighborhoods are so like, um, versatile and like they're kind of tight roads and I like it. That's how neighborhoods should be done. You know, I, I've said that before, too, with, like, all the trees and stuff. It looks so good. It looks like a neighborhood you would see in real life. I guess it just depends on where you live, though. Nah, we should be good on fuel. What was that? Is that a road? No, that's a long driveway. Did that, why did it sound like a cough? What? That parking brake kind of sounded like a cough right there. Oh, no, this ain't gonna. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, let me pull over for him. That's how it's done right there. Yeah, that's how it's done right there. Nice. Me and that guy just had chemistry just then. If that was anyone else, I pro they probably would have ran me off the road. That was nice. That's what you're supposed to do. So I got invited to a uh, high school graduation. Going to go attend that after work in a next week, actually. Uh, that should be quite fun. Not really. One more school-related thing I got to do. <laughs> oh, man. So here's the town square, as I like to call it. For the most part, these drivers have been pretty good. Uh, I know we saw a few that were kind of off the road, but that'll happen. So we got to stop here at, uh, here on Main Street here. We got a student getting off here. Why does that sound like a cough? It sounds like somebody just like gave out and coughed when I, <laughs> here, let's do that again. Dude, <laughs> what? All right. We got a few more stops to do. There's a fire station. So I'm going to make a stop here. So when I was watching those TikToks, this is a good example here. It was a street like this with no median. Now, granted, there was a house on this side and the student was getting off over here and not over here.
but still cars that are coming this way have to stop and there was a car that didn't and the cop pulled out from behind the tree and pulled him over it was pretty cool to watch it, it just surprises me some of these people with with a license that don't know the road laws and stuff it, it it's crazy there's so many bad drivers out there Yeah, there shoes the high school. Oh, we kind of just made a whole loop here. <laughs> We're headed right back to the uh Oh, it ends here. Oh, okay. Um It says left turn only, but where do you go from there? Here, we'll just do one of these things here. We'll slowly start heading back to the lot. I would do first person, but it's so sunny. It's hard to see. I can't really give out my location because, yeah, that's actually where I'm headed. I'm headed back to the base. Because if I give out my location, a bunch of people start to follow me and it just doesn't look very legit. Looks like we have a church here. Take me to church by what's his name? Horzer, Horzer, Horzer. I don't know. I I never know how to say that guy's name, but I, he's a great musician. He also sings uh um Arsonist lullaby. Um. What's that other popular song that he sings? I can't think of it. Wood That I. It's called Wood That I. That's a good song as well. What happened to the, uh, oh. We need to head back to the lot. It's over there. It's getting dark. It's getting dark. See, we got three people following us, or two people, rather. And this is our last stop. So we'll make it quick. Little does he know I'm already doing a video. <laughs> Ooh, we got some terrain here. We're going uphill. And we're going back down. I love that. That's great. Let's stop here. Yeah, we should be good. And the lot is up here on our right. Maybe we'll end it in the uh, service bay. I don't know. Probably not. There's probably somebody already in there. Oh my god. I <laughs> What is that guy doing? I hope he doesn't try to block the street. No, he's just trying to make it right. Gotcha. 
Come on, give us the green. Yay. What is he doing? I'm just gonna kind of go around him there. Okay, he's just pulling off to the side. What bus number am I? Four? I'm brighter. Who the hell gave this guy permissions? All right, see, here we are. All right, there we go. Hit that child check. If it's back here, I don't see one. We're gonna exit through the back. Nice. Well, this is uh, uh, Bedford, Massachusetts. They're doing pretty good. My advice to you, just leave the game open and let people play it because it's working great. So, um, yeah, if you guys do wish to play this game, it will be linked in the description down below. Um, shout out to everybody in here, including this guy right here. Um, if you guys like the video, please leave a like and subscribe, and I will catch you guys next time. Peace.